What's up guys, it's Nate from Baseline. We're here at the new Rebel Sports Store at the Melbourne Emporium. I'm here with my guy Roman. What's up Roman? Good. We're gonna go have a look at some shoes and hopefully walk away with a new pair of hoop shoes for you. Yes sir. Let's get it. All right Roman bro, let's go back to the start, way before you're even a hooper. Is it true you're a rugby guy? Yeah, I was big on rugby like when I was younger growing up. Yeah. I'm like every other Polynesian kid, but yeah, it was good fun. It was just good I could sort of transition into basketball and switch it up too. Yeah. How'd you get into rugby? Is that just like a, a big family thing? Did your, your parents get you into that first or was that like your first true love? Yeah, I, I guess I was just like, it was a sport that my parents wanted me to play and I was keen on it, so I just jumped in. I was, good time, good fun, but yeah. um, after a while it was just a bit, a bit long, a bit too much, but yeah. yeah how come, what made you transition from rugby to, to basketball? Um, I think it was just like, naturally, I was already bigger than people, so it was like, um, I thrived more in rugby, yep. and it was just like playing basketball. I wasn't as good as most kids, and growing up, it was like, I've always loved the challenge, so yep. I guess just being able to grind and get better than other players was what drove me to keep playing basketball. Yep. Yeah. So when you, when you first started playing basketball after kind of moving away from rugby, we know you're dominant now, but were you dominant back then? Were you always this good? Uh, but I shot with like two hands, I was all over the place. Yeah. Didn't have a left hand, still kind of don't. But yeah. nah, it was calm, it was um, I know, trying to figure it out. Um, watching other players in my team, like uh, when I was younger, and watching a little bit of basketball, so just learning stuff really was the biggest thing. Yep. It took quite a bit of time actually, like my mom put me out, um, under 40 to top age, just wasn't in it, wasn't the right headspace, and I was just like, yeah, I'm just playing for fun. Yep. And, um, yeah, after that I was like, oh, I should really like see where this could take me. So I just started going to the hoop and uh, yeah, just shooting, getting better. And then eventually I came back halfway through one season, 16th quarter mate. And yep. I was like, oh, I'm better than I was before, so I'll take it. So just every day grind, getting better. Yep. And eventually uh, I was thriving, so it was good, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Are your parents kind of supportive of you? They come support you at games. Yeah. I know I've heard your dad is at games all the time and still yeah. films you to this day and posts you on his uh, little little accounts. Talk to me. Yeah, no, my dad loves recording. He's, um, he's real quick on that. I'm not too um, fond of it, but like as long as it like, keeps him happy, keeps him something to do, it's like good on him. So, mum and dad are real supportive. Don't say too much after games. They know I'm my own critic. So, I just don't really like depend on them to let me know what, what I need to do. But if I ever get to that point, like they're definitely there to humble me, keep me in check. So yeah, they're really supportive. So yeah. great for that. No, I love that, man. Hey, you know why we're here? Any pairs of shoes that you like that you wore? Um, you know, growing up, I was like just a Nike guy. Like I just go on Nike if there was any shoes. Like we're well, not even like named players. Like I was, I was hooping in whatever. To be honest, yeah. You know, I kind of liked Paris when I was younger, but as I got older, like I don't know, just like wasn't my thing. So yeah. yeah. Hey, we're here to pick a pair of shoes. Yeah. Anything catching your eye on this sneaker wall? I'm a big Giannis guy, so these ones are nice. Like this whole, I guess, design, shoe design is real nice. Um, I had Freak 4s, I think, and they're, they're going to be through the trenches. Like, I still got them, they're pretty big, but I don't know, just the comfort. Um, I'm a big, big thing with like the soles. They like to like slip and slide, but they're real, um, yep. real good the structure of the shoe, so these are nice. I like the colorways of these ones. Like, yep. It's popping out of me, but yeah, I can make it work with some of the uniforms I have, so yep. pretty good. Cool. Alright man, let's get a size 15 and we'll try them on after. So, yep. Jack, so I'd have to get a size 15 in here. YouTube, what is going on? I hope you're liking the episode. Please like, please subscribe. We've got a vlog with Roman dropping. We spent two days with him. It's gonna be crazy. Um, let's get back to the episode. Alright Roman, so you were at the AIS over there on scholarship yeah. and you made the decision to go back home to your family in Brisbane. Yeah. Talk to me about that decision. Um, it was just a personal preference. Like, there's nothing against Canberra or the shoes. Like, a bunch of like the principles they've um, taught me, like, I still have that in my game today. So, And it's a big part of my game actually. So yeah. it was good just learning, being there for the time I was. And then it was just coming home like to my family and stuff. Just like, like the roots of how my life operated before I went there. And it was yeah. just friends here, family here. But it was just like a personal preference. Um, nothing too serious, but it was, just, yeah. it was good for me in the sense that um, those guys at the shoot, like, it still gives me something to like, be like, hey, I want to be as good as him. Like, hey, I want to keep working just as much as he does. So yeah. being at home, it's a good thing for me. 
keep me driven, keep me something to keep going for. And yeah, that's probably the biggest thing. No, I love it, man. So you're back home. Talk to me about what those workouts look like when you're working on your game. Yeah, just um, my coach Arja Parham puts me through workouts, or just controlled ball handling because um, they know I like to play fast, like I like to get downhill. Yep. But um, it's just change of pace, more um, more so like mm. making sure I can come off the dribble and um slow it down and then explode out yep. and then just things like shooting mechanics making sure every rep's the same um thinking about three different things yep. making sure i implement that into my shooting mechanics so things like that is pretty big for me at home. Yep. Yeah. last year you played on the the australia team australia 17s um yeah. where the 10 guys on the court are all they're all killers right you boys went to oceania's took out gold yeah. how does your game kind of differ when you go play with those boys you're playing australia team with a bunch of a bunch of assassins on there um, it changes the sense that I know I can rely on other people, not that I can't with my other teammates, just more so like with guys like Jacob Furphy, Nash Walker, Jack Whitbourne in the post, like all those guys, they know what they're doing, like it's second nature to them playing basketball, so having a little bit of pressure off yourself and being yep. able to distribute, being able to just feed off their energy and feed off what they do as a player, that's probably the biggest thing. So. Playing with them was definitely like a little bit less pressure, so it was just good being able to run around the court and having some trust in your teammates. Yep. Talk to me a little bit about that tournament. Where did you guys end up going? You were, where was the tournament in? Oh, we went to Papua New Guinea. Papua, Papua New Guinea? Yeah. What was that like? What was it like being away with the boys, staying over there for a week, being with the coaches, being in Papua New Guinea? Uh, they were a bit like, uh, I don't know, protective of us, like there's a lot going over in uh, Papua New Guinea, shout yeah. out them, but they were good hosts, they were great, the people there, the natives, they were just all love them, so yeah, it was just good being there, around good people, and uh, they were just really inviting, welcome, and being an islander as well, it was just like, sort of like going back home to Samoa, so it was good. Yep. Yeah. I love it, man. All right, again, were you for sneakers, bro? Yeah. Second shoe, something catching your eye? I mean, I'm a big KD guy, but probably like the newest ones, 16s, KD 16s. 16s, so yep. They're good. I had a pair of 15s, I'm pretty sure, and they're good in the feet. Um, 15s and 14s, they're good. So, big KD guy, um, good support, real comfy. Yep. Gives you bounce, so I'm not complaining, but yeah, these are big shoes I'd go for, and just keeping it black, keeping it simple, so. Are you a big color guy when it comes to shoes, or do you like to just kind of um, keep it plain with the blacks, the whites? Honestly, it depends. Like, if it goes with the uniform, like, yeah, I'll take it. Yep. Um, if it doesn't, try and find something, but I don't know, I don't mind. I mind a bit of both. So yeah. Jackie, mind for getting another candy? Don't stress me, too easy. My guy. <laughs>Last year, AAU in the US. Yeah. Talk to me about that experience. Yeah, it was a good experience. Different play style, they were more iso ball. Um, could definitely shoot, so that was good. But yeah, in terms of competition, like it wasn't the best, but we weren't in the best comp either. So props to them. It was like Canadian guys, um, some people from Brazil, Dubai as well. Yep. Sort of like a national comp or international comp. So it was pretty good, but yeah. Outside of the, the AAU ball, what was the experience like being in America? Did you, did you like it there? Did you guys do anything? Yeah, it was just pretty much walking around, seeing, um, seeing the strip, the Las Vegas strip, so that was good. Um, but it's just populated as like, it's so many people there. Um, you don't know whether they're from just Vegas itself or visiting, so it was a good time there, just um, looking around sort of the scenery, I guess, and America is different to Australia, for sure. And yeah, it was just a good time. Talk to me about your kicks. Is there anything that you're wearing now, anything that you like to wear or that you might come back to? Um, I talked a little bit about Giannis's. I'm a big fan of Giannis's. Um Shoes, they're great. Um, the fours, they were crazy. And um, the twos, I'm pretty sure as well, they're nice. So I like. I have a little bit of a Giannis LeBron rotation, but that's just with 20s and um, the Giannis twos. So that's about it, to be honest. Not too, too fancy. Hey, so I've heard that you're kind of like a size 14 to a size 17 guy. Talk to me how, talk to me about how you can be across three sizes. Nah, of shoes. I don't even know where you heard that from, but um, <laughs> nah, it's actually size 13. Like dress shoes, I got like 13, 14. Um, playing shoes is like 15 to 17. Yep. That was just for a while. I was playing in 15s, and I kept stubbing my toes. Like damn, bro. I go go to the beach, look down and see black toes, but I was like, nah, I can't be doing that. So went to the size 17s for a bit of time, and yeah. um. Yeah, my toes recovered, so that was a good thing, and yeah, so I sort of bounced in between, but right now it's just playing in 15s, 
good. Yeah, so 15s are good for me right now. While we're talking about that, let's pick that last pair of shoes. What are you looking at? What's catching your eye? Um, yeah, obviously the GT cuts, but like quick shout out to the Sabrinas. Like, um, obviously you got like Jar Morant, Giannis's, but very rarely do you see like Sabrina Unesco's. Like, um, these are tough, like little Jar Morant slash Kobe look to them. I'd wear them, I'd rock these for sure. Um, but yeah, it's just good to see that like there's uh, female brands coming out as well. Female shoes, so. Yeah. Something that you don't see a lot of guys rocking yeah. as well. Just good exposure for um, for girls especially that want to play and like they don't have to go to the store and get Jar Morant or um, LeBron's. So it's just, that's just good to see. And I definitely rate them for sure. But yeah, um, just the GT Cuts, classic, nice, they're beautiful actually. Very comfy as well, had a pair of cuts as well back in the day, so they were good. Beautiful, man. All right, let's grab a pair and we'll go on try some shoes. Jack, can I get a, another pair? You know the vibes? My God. I'll go check out the back row. All right. <laughs> All right, Roman, you've tried on the three pairs of shoes. Yeah. Talk to me, what did you think about them? Um, like the KDs, like on the court, the traction was nice, it's good. Um, it's pretty comfy, but I don't know, just like my style of place, it's probably not the best for me. Yep. Um, obviously, we had the Greeks, they were nice, good feel to them. Um, they look nice. I don't know, just same with the KDs, just like the way I play, play fast, just, um, yeah, we'll be moving a lot in these, so probably not the best for me either. Yep. And then just the GT classic, nice little um, color going to it. Looks good. Always clean these guys, and yeah, probably pick these. Cool. So GTs, they're the ones. Yeah. Taking them home. Yeah. All right, man. Everybody, thank you for watching today. Keep an eye out for Roman. This next year's about to go crazy. Roman, my guy. Thank you for pulling through. Yes, sir. Let's get out of here. All right.